Hey, what's going on, guys? This is uh, Team Gohan Fighter back with another video, and um, today I'm gonna uh, do the review of uh, Ruby Volume Four, Chapter Two, aka Episode Two, aka Ep Season Four. Um, so uh, the Episode Two essentially starts off with uh, Weiss. You know, uh, she's walking, she's basically walking, you know, because in the last episode she, her dad wanted to see her. So she's walking, and eventually she runs into her brother, who's now been introduced uh, as, um, Whitney, I believe his name was. It was such a weird, it was a weird name. Um... Uh, she said how she changed, or he had changed since he she had been at Beacon and stuff like that. And stuff like that. Eventually, it goes to this little uh, weird type of circle, yellow, black type screen thing there. Pixelation and stuff like that. And eventually, we see Ruby. She wakes up and stuff like that. Um, and so then the gang's all there, um, and eventually, uh, they come across to this city, um, and, uh, it's been, like, clearly destroyed, there's debris everywhere, and then there's this guy, and he says some stuff to them, and then he eventually passes on, and then they go to, uh, you know, they ask if they should bury him, and they're just like, let's just go. And so they go, and uh, that's basically how that scene cut off, essentially, there. They go back to uh, Weiss, and uh, Weiss eventually uh, uh, goes into the room where the dad is. Uh, now, keep in mind, we have not met the dad in the previous seasons, or volumes there, uh, Weiss had been talking to her on the cell phone and stuff like that, so we never actually heard the dad before, um, you know, who the dad would be voiced by. Um, he goes into the office. First time I hear, uh, who it is, or who's voicing him, I knew right away it was Sean Douglas, Shane Doug, or something like that, um, guy who voices Beerus, sorry if I said his name wrong, uh, he voiced, uh, he's voicing, uh, uh, Weiss's, uh, dad, dad, <laughs> um, so yeah, that was kind of cool seeing that, um, uh, he was having a debate with this other guy who's on the council or whatever, or he's got two seats in the chair or council thing or whatever, they want to do some proposal and stuff like that, because apparently they think Atlas is at fault for everything that happened to Beacon, um, and stuff like that, so they're like in a huge disagreement and stuff like that. Eventually the guy leaves and says that they'll continue it later on, the debate later on, and so then Weiss is now talking to the father, and it's basically talks her into like doing this song thing at this event, charity event. You know, and they want to, you know, have everyone remind everyone that Weiss was defending Beacon before it, you know, got destroyed there, you know, since she was like a part of that academy at Beacon. And, um, you know, they want to, sh you know, sh sh remind everyone that she defended Beacon and stuff like that. And uh, then she even asked him, are you asking me to sing there, or are you telling me to sing there? And uh, eventually she, uh, you know, agreed to do it, um, and stuff like that. Um, then after she gets out of there, uh, she's running with the butler. The butler gives him some drink, or her a drink. It seemed like he was kind of drunk there, but... I couldn't really make it out, like, he was, you know, I don't know if he's got some Jekyll or Hyde type thing going on there, but he seemed, like, really kind of weird, um, 
So yeah. Um, then it goes to once again another pixelated, uh, yellow black type circle thing, and then we see Ruby uh, wake up from a dream. He notices Jean's not there, um, and so he she ends up going to this, you know, you know through the woods to find him, and they uh, we see him like practicing how to like fight with the sword. He has a pre-recorded uh, video of pure on the cell phone there, you know, before she died. Um, and uh, basically, she's just, he's just listening to it and practicing how to uh, use a sword. Um, uh, Ruby, you know, you know, watches it for several minutes and then eventually leaves kind of just upset and stuff like that, and that's essentially the episode. It was actually about five minutes shorter than the first episode, um, which sucks. I think it should have been a little longer there. You know, they need to balance it out, people. 13 minutes, 19 minutes for the first episode, and only 13 minutes for the, you know, the other episode, for this episode. They really need to start kind of balancing it out you know the episodes out because it's like some episodes are like smaller than others and it kind of really isn't it's not fair I think you know what I mean there especially since the show has gotten a lot bigger since it first started um but uh pretty good episode um it's keep it's going along pretty good there still waiting to see what's going on with yang um uh based on what they're doing i'm thinking that it's this 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 chapter is mostly going to be about ruby then again pretty much the whole story is about Ruby in my personal opinion. I think Ruby is the actual main character. Like, it, my view is there's only one main character in a show. Um, depending on if the, uh, the show has a male or a female as the main character, then the other person's gender would be the main character uh, of that gender. Like, Naruto is obviously the main character of Naruto, but Sakura is like the main female. But Naruto's still the main character overall out of everyone. But in Ruby, since the main character is a girl, uh, we don't really have a main character male, though, like in this show, really, um, since, like, it's all focused on really Ruby. But, I mean, in this season, I guess you could be like, okay, maybe John, because it's like, you know they're kind of get together right now it's like they're you know make believe group right now um but ruby is definitely the main character no question about it uh it's it's all focused around her you know with the silver eyes and you know you know she's special gifted type character it's all built around her over everyone not saying that everyone isn't as special i'm just saying that it, it's all built around her more than really the other characters um and um i'm thinking the next episode obviously they're gonna show ruby and the group that she's in right now um like they did in this episode but i think i think the uh next episode's going to focus on blake a little bit more and then the next episode is going to focus on yang because the first episode really only focused on Ruby for the most part. Um, you seen Weiss at the end, but and that picked up, you know, in this episode then. Um, you know, because it was focused on her. You didn't see Blake at the end of this episode, but I'm thinking that the next episode is going to completely focus on Blake. And then the fourth episode is going to focus on Yang, and Ruby will still be in there in both of those episodes like she was in, in this one, since the main focus right now is her with the, the group that she's in right now. But um, I think that there are going to be the other ones that are, you know, floating around in the episode as well to see what, 
what's going on with them right now. Um, and I'm, I'm assuming that because it seems like they're going in order. Ruby, you know, Weiss, then Blake, and then Yang. That's why I'm assuming that, of course. Um, you know, typical uh, Ruby fashion. Um, so, yeah, um, I think it's a really good episode. It's really cool that, you know, we got Sabat last episode, and now we got... Um, uh, Shane or Sean Douglas uh, Beerus. Um, sorry if I'm saying his name wrong. I don't remember it. <laughs> um, ah man, I wish they would get. Sh I wish they would get Sean from uh, you know the guy who voices Goku because they got Vic. I mean, they got Vic. They got Chris. They got Douglas. Like, like man, get Sean in there. Get give give Sean a voice in in Ruby. Like, that would be perfect. Because he's, cause he's Goku. He's the voice of Goku, for God's sakes. Come on, now. He needs to get in this action. He needs to get into the Ruby action right now. Because it seems like all... It seems like all the DBZ voice actors are, like, come, are slowly starting to appear in the Ruby. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> but it's true. Um... Yeah, um, so, uh, this was a good episode, uh, chapter, or whatever you want to call it, um, I personally like the traditional of calling them episodes, but, um, Rooster Teeth decides to call them volumes, I mean, Avatar The Last Airbender called their episodes books, so I can't totally complain, um, but I just rather call them episodes because, you know, it kind of makes more sense. But, um, yeah, you can call them chapters if you want. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I really, um, I really liked the episode. Um, it was a really good episode, uh, and I'm, I'm looking forward to the next one. Uh, hopefully we'll get a little more time. It was, uh, again, four, mi four or five minutes off from the previous episode. Um, so uh, I'm looking forward to it, and I'm hoping that uh, we'll be uh, getting some more, uh, you know, very soon. Uh, but this one was really good. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about Ruby. Comment, rate. Let me know what you guys think. Again, if you like this video or my other videos, please subscribe. And, uh, again, comment down below your thoughts about Ruby, too, you know, because, you know, I... I need to know if you guys like my this review. You know, you know, comment uh, a like, give this a like, and uh, I'll keep doing this. I am a Team Gone fighter, and I'm out of here. Peace.